the insatiable appetite for internet affirmation that not only do you exist but that you're special drives people to do some wacky things. And one of the worst ways of getting this craved attention is through being a douchebag. And that's what I want to show you today. A young man so blinded by his low vitamin C levels, vitamin clout, and in his desperate attempt to get this clout, decided to make an absolute fool out of himself on TikTok and ended up being its punching bag for about 24 hours because his whole idea was to just be an asshole. Post Malone, you a bitch. You suck. That's rude. Thank you so much. You a bitch. You a bitch. Post Malone suck. What you just witnessed is one of TikTok's biggest and toughest men. A man who's feared even at the salty spittoon. What a absolute fucking chad. Going to Post Malone's fan signing where Post Malone was just meeting with fans, signing their things, talking with them, and this guy marches all up, puffs out his chest, and just starts being an asshole. That's the entire piece of content. And you can tell that this guy's not insecure because the second he started being rude to Post Malone, he immediately ran away. So you know he's not afraid of anything. This guy wakes up every morning and drinks a glass of rusty fucking nails. He's so tough. So yeah, Post Malone got drive-by heckled by a rejected Jonas brother who's desperately trying to get any amount of internet points that he can get. And I just find the whole situation super sad. Not just for Post Malone, but for this guy as well. Because this is just such an embarrassing thing that I think any level of self-awareness will have him regretting immensely at this moment, I would hope. But Post Malone, even if you don't like his music, you have to recognize he is one of like the most authentic and genuinely kind people in the music industry. I like Post Malone's music, but I recognize not everyone will. But even if you don't, like every interview I've ever seen from him, all of his Twitch streams, because he streams on Twitch, or at least he used to stream pretty actively on Twitch, every interaction I've ever seen from him just portrays a really kind person. So to go out of your way to be mean to someone like that takes a special kind of delusional douchebag. And even in the video here, you can see him smiling and talking to fans. He smiles at the guy who's about to be rude to him. And when he gets insulted, he just looks like actually hurt. He's just like, Ugh, that was rude. And then he just keeps piling it on. Like, I don't know how you don't feel bad after the first time, but he doubles down on the douchery and continues to insult him. And he's just, you know, Post Malone's like, that's just fucking rude. Why would you say that? Like, it's so like rough to, to watch. Now, I don't know much about this kid, but he looks pretty young. I'm sure he's still suckling off his parents' finances like a parasite in order to pay for his trips to the hair salon every two weeks in order to match whatever the most trendy TikTok hairstyle is. But I really think he should have saved some of his allowance for a better phone. Instead of just blowing it on White Claw, he probably should have just saved up for a phone that would record in something beyond 140p. This video looks like it's straight from 2009. I don't even know how you have video quality this dog shit, this turbo ass in 2022. You have to be extremely incompetent in order to make your phone look this shitty in this day and age. Now the whole goal with this stunt was to go viral, and it did, mission accomplished, that got over 6 million views and is still getting views. But I guess he just wasn't really ready for that because he ended up going in full baby meltdown mode and took down the video and made a really embarrassing post about how it wasn't actually him in the video, it was his friend. Now, is it possible that it's actually not him? Sure, I suppose. There's some universe out there in the multiverse where that happens to be the truth, but I don't think that's where we're at right now. I think in this reality, he's just using the lamest and oldest excuse in the book. This is like that textbook cringy shit we used to do growing up where if you send a text message to a girl and you regret it or she doesn't respond, you're like, Oh, God, I'm so sorry. That was my friend that sent that. Oh, but stupid friend. I don't know why he'd say that. I'm not weird. My friend did that. Don't get mad at me. Not exactly a watertight response here. And I would have expected someone that puts up this persona of I'm so tough and you know i'm such a badass i'll go insult anyone on the street i would have expected them to just like embrace the villain role but it seems like they're just not built for that they immediately just fold and just crumple in on themselves here which of course makes it even more embarrassing for them but i want to use this as like a little example of the drive to make a like a, a viral video where you just throw away common sense in the pursuit of numbers 
This guy knew that this would get some attention, and he probably knew there would be some level of hate that came with it where people would get upset about it, but he clearly wasn't ready for the full response he got. He was just so blinded by the pursuit of internet clout that he made a dumb fucking decision and made himself look like a complete asshole on the internet, and that'll follow him around forever if he continues to try and be a TikTok star. So yeah, anyway, just wanted to go over this just a little bit, and uh, that's about it. See ya.